Once Human has a new patch for August and there's a lot of juicy content to get into. We can't fit it all into this video, so you can find the full patch notes in the video description. Let's dive right in. First up, we have some major updates in the memetic optimizations. There's a new item drop, memetic specialization memory fragments. That's right, when you use these fragments, you'll gain the corresponding memetic specialization effect. You can use up to three per season, and they can be traded between players. However, remember they will be gone at the end of the season with the server wipe. You can't save them in Eternal Land. Also, when you use the in-game item controller, there's a chance you'll get a random memory fragment. This is an excellent way to enhance your character's abilities for the season. Stick around to the end of the video to hear more about upcoming builds and tutorials, as well as plans to see some of these updates firsthand. And now, gameplay optimization. The Highway Pursuit mode has been enriched. Now Rosetta's trucks will automatically drop Sproutlets even if you don't attack them. There are all new combat invitation functions for the public crisis events. You now can send invites to other players through the chat channels, making it easier to team up and tackle challenges together. All right, let's touch a little on vehicle enhancements. First up, speed boosts. Low level motorcycles now have increased acceleration and maximum speed. And for you off-roader and coupe lovers, you'll notice a slight bump in acceleration and top speed too. If you ever find yourself stuck on rough terrain, don't worry. There's a new function that you can hold down the accelerate key to free your vehicle. No more getting stuck on pesky rocks or hills. Now shifting gears. Get it? Get it, Chris? Eh? I got it. All right. Well, <laughs> we got something that's going to make your farming life a whole lot easier. Once human now has continuous planting, this automatically replants the previously used seeds. No more repetitive farming. Now moving on to wilderness updates. There are now options to adjust the camera height in your settings. You can adjust the character's vertical position on the screen for better visibility. And a welcome addition. This one is actually pretty cool. Trades have a new addition to Nissa's Loot Crate in the Sprout Shop. The crate has a 30% chance of holding a legendary mod. If you don't get that, you're going to get at least some acid, premium fuel, or stardust. One of those things will actually be pretty awesome. A few odds and ends to hit before we get into the really good stuff. The game now has more hair color presets, which could mean more customization options for your characters. I'm not sure if that's a notable addition since you can already fine tune the colors yourself, but anyway. Silos, dungeons, stronghold conquests, and the Prime War results screens now highlight top ranked players. It's always nice to get some recognition for your hard work. And lastly, PvE servers are being updated with new server-wide tasks and rewards for Phase 5 of the season. We're closing in on the endgame, people. Time to wrap up those loose ends. Now, let's talk about the updates I'm really excited about. Events for the month of August. The devs have dubbed this era the Forgotten Summer. Expect to get more rewards and new challenges to face head on. Here's a peek at what we're looking forward to. August 1st, 8th, and 15th, we'll have some layups with simple login events where you can unlock special rewards like the Crimson Spider Gloves and Butterfly's Emissary Crate. You can claim these prizes up until the event ends on September 4th. Now, the fact that it ends on September 4th makes me wonder if that's the end all be all for our season but i guess we'll see now let's move on to other upcoming events we have wilderness express that starts august 15th now this seems like it's going to be some sort of racing event where you can race through the wilderness either by yourself or with a team and if you earn a specific rating for like mileage and collisions uh, you can get your hands on rewards like Starcrom, which I'm excited about because I like the Wish Machine way too much, and a limited edition cosmetic called the Fulfilled Wish Vest. Um, beyond that, we have Secure On Site, 
That starts August 22nd. During this event, you'll defeat enemies to earn loot crates, which can contain specimen cards. Collect specimen cards and fill the specimen encyclopedia to obtain rewards. Wish it was named something else, but I guess we'll see what we're in for coming up. And now for you people with a little bit of extra money in your pockets, new shop arrivals. They've added some new and epic quality outfits, racing loons, and as well as some discounted theme packs. Added new neon series of epic weapon cosmetics for the SOCR, MG4, KV-SBR, and other popular weapons. And lastly, they will be adding the new Sunny Coast Living Furniture Set, transforming your home into a romantic summertime beach. And to finish off the video today, we are going to be quickly going through some of the ideas that we got coming up. So we have a monolith that we need to finish off, which is our last little bit before we move over to the next territory. And that's the one in the uh, tall grass area. Uh, what's it called again? It's called Monolith of Thirst is the last one. So that's going to be an upcoming video as well. We do have a couple of build ideas that we're going to be doing as well. One of them being a A-frame build. So from anyone that's been watching our Sons of the Forest mm -hmm. content, everyone knows we love A-frame builds. We got James's lot guy. over there, <laughs> ready to go, primed, because there's going to be a big old A-frame on there, I reckon, on the next coming, probably not the next video, but one of the next videos coming up for sure. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Jax, that you'd like to add? I'm just really stoked to do some more gameplay videos. It's definitely some of my favorite stuff to do. 100%. There's something in the bushes and I'm, there. I'm, I'm, I love the game, but I'm definitely always looking out for the next big thing. So mm. in the comments, if you guys if you guys know of anything exciting coming up, let us know. 100%. We're always on the lookout. Definitely keen for the new game ideas. Um, as much as I'd love to play this game every single day of my life, it's um, going to have to come to a time where we're going to have to move on and find something bigger and better should i kill yes. the baby deer uh probably not the baby one nah i don't like killing the baby ones they don't yield mm. much meat anyway so what's the True. point <laughs> i just feel feel no. bad killing bambi oh it's laying down having a snooze now i can't kill it oh man yeah no you gotta go uh get the bad guys aren't they across the the pond i see one right there actually hang on hang on oh uh, i get it yeah i'm joking it's all good. Calm down. Jeez. Calm down. <laughs> There's no wolves around here. There's usually tons of wolves. I know. Usually they're lousy with them. Like this place is a boar place. notorious. Hey, we got to move locations too. We should probably mention that to everybody as well. Mm. So, because we're about to finish up this area. This is going to have very little use to us around here. So we're probably going to be heading. I know. Didn't take much to finish this little area. There wasn't much here to do. So we're either going to be heading west out this way which i'm not too sure of because i haven't actually crossed the boundary yet or we're going to be heading up into the um black heart region or the red sands mm. region something like that I, I don't know if that's our next target area but we are going to be looking to relocate all our bases as well i think it's going to go west i could be wrong i, I don't Found know a wolf. If, if had a wolf <laughs> excellent yes <laughs> kill it get rid I'm of it doing it I think that's going to oh, do it for no. this video. What do you reckon, Jax? Finish it off? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, you enjoy the video. Oh, there's a wolf. Got him. <laughs> Surrounded. <laughs> All good. Gotcha. If you can please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. That'd be awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.